Now to a developing story. The U.S. military unleashing one of its biggest weapons in the fight against ISIS, something known as the mother of all bombs. CBS 2's Dick Brennan in our newsroom with more details. Dick? Well, Christine, the military dropped America's most powerful non-nuclear bomb on ISIS targets in Afghanistan. The first time this weapon has been used in battle, the target an ISIS underground complex. Everybody knows exactly what happened, so, and what I do is I authorize my military. We have the greatest military in the world, and they've done a job as usual. President Trump reacting to the combat use of the most powerful non-nuclear bomb in its arsenal, shown here in file tape. The 11-ton bomb was dropped on ISIS forces in Nangarhar province in the eastern region of Afghanistan near the Pakistani border. We targeted a system of tunnels and caves that ISIS fighters used uh, to move around freely, making it easier for them to target U.S. military advisors and Afghan forces in the area. Sources tell CBS News the bombing mission has been in the works for months. The GBU-43 is officially called the Massive Ordnance Air Blast Bomb, but because of the MOAB abbreviation and its massive size, it's picked up the nickname Mother of All Bombs. And military experts say it's used so soldiers are not put in harm's way. In this particular case, the commander determined that this weapon system, the MOAB, was going to take out those tunnels without any loss of U.S. life, and that seemed to be the most important reason. Now, it's not clear whether anyone was killed on the ground. The military is currently conducting an assessment, and the Pentagon is reviewing whether to deploy additional trainers to Afghanistan to help bolster U.S. allies there. In the news from Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News.